And just in, Deshaun Watson's hearings have now wrapped, and we have some big developments to tell you about. Voice of the Browns, Jim Donovan is here with what we're learning right now. Hello to you, Jim. Hello, Laura. Hello, Russ. Three days of testimony in Delaware in front of the judge, Sue L. Robinson, the new disciplinary officer and employed by the NFL and the NFL Players Association. And the testimony has now been wrapped up. After three days, no more testimony will be heard. So now the case is basically in the hands of Sue L. Robinson. But we are finding out details from what went on and the presentation specifically made by the NFL. So the NFL focused indeed on five cases of alleged victims, not all 24, five cases that they picked out to present in front of the judge. Now this is very, very important what we're finding out. In their presentation, the NFL found no evidence of violence, threat, force, or coercion used by Deshaun Watson in any of these cases. The NFL in front of the judge also admitted that their desire for an indefinite suspension, which would keep him out of the league for at least a year, is unprecedented. The NFL was pressed on another case, and they had to admit this, that a security director a few years ago did investigate the case of New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, who was involved in a sexual misconduct case, and the NFL has come out and admitted there was no punishment handed down in that case. Now, where are we going from here? Sue L. Robinson with the testimony being wrapped up. She has gone to both sides with the NFLPA, remember, also being a third side in this. But the Watson side and the NFL and has told them that they must file briefs and they must be in by the week of July 11th. And that's when we would seem to get a decision. And Russ, here's the other thing you must remember. That is the calendar that we're looking at right now. But always out there is the possibility of some kind of a settlement in this case, that they could reach a settlement, that the league and Watson could come together on something before the judge would rule, and maybe the case would come to an end. But at least by the letter of what has gone on in Delaware the last three days, we are still looking at a couple of weeks. But very important mm -hmm. facts coming out today in the case. Yeah, July 11th, a week from this Monday coming up. All right, Jim Donovan, we'll see you later in sports. Thank you.